One thing I had to learn is, I was always taught to hand up here, back up here, grab the neck, right? This is all, all top right here. You gotta realize, when you do this, you're way susceptible to him dropping levels and shooting through you, right? Also, if you drop your head down low right here, which some guys do, that's maybe down. So I'm close to you to teach guys to wrestle down their knees right here. Does this make sense to wrestle your knees like this? No, right? The problem is guys don't know how to react, right? So when a guy does knees, it's kind of foreign to you, but to anyone who wrestles on the knees against me, Anytime I'm like this, I'm like, oh, I'm taking you in a, for a ride in a red headlock. Like, you're already happy to that to me, right? Think, this is what I'm talking about. Think about these kind of things. But, anyway, first thing I want to talk about for defense, guys. Hand placement, heads, then hips. Right? Head, hand, hips. That's a, that's, those are the lines of defense. So, one thing that makes it really hard to score on is where I'm putting my hands. I don't put my hands up here. Right? Put your hands up here, you're giving them under hooks, right? You gotta drop the levels, pop it. Alright? Not good. What's gonna make a huge difference is taking your hands, turning them into a claw, like Freddie Mantis is, putting them on his biceps. All right, you can control them just as well, but you're not, but now your elbows are in. See the difference right here? This right here. All right. And again, this is one of those things back when I was like your guys' days, and Uncle Joe, he had me take my shirt off, tie my hands together, and wrestle like this. And I'm like, Uncle Joe, you don't wrestle like this. Like this is silly. Why would I do this? Right? I can come and wave around like this, but then it all makes sense moving forward. Like this is where you want to be in wrestling. All right, so, first one defense, right here, hand placement, right here is where you want it. All right, do I want my head up? No, all right? Do I want to be right here gridlock with him? No, I want to have an angle, always. So, head placement, side of head right here, this is where I want to be, now I'm an angle. I can steer his body as much as possible. Again, this is basics of wrestling, right? I'm just breaking it down to the little details. Wherever his head's going is where he's going, right? So if I turn his head this way, his body's eventually going to turn that way. That's what I want, I'm attacking that side. Right here, all right? And then lastly, on your toes, all right? That way, if he does shoot, I can move my toes, hips down, all right? Boom, right here. This is where you want to be. This is good position on your feet, all right? Not down here, not reaching, not stepping, all right? These are all areas where you're exposed. Right here, fundamental good wrestling, all right? The best wrestlers in the world, all right? Prime example, that was Logan Stever. You guys know who Logan Stever is? No? Four-time national champ? Ohio State, world champion, pretty darn good wrestler, darn near impossible to score on. He takes super low right here in the smoothie feet. Alright? There's a reason why. It's good. Alright? You guys can't spend enough time in this position, getting used to being comfortable to here. Alright? So, that's the first thing we do. We're, gonna, we're just going to literally ease into it. Um, I want you and your partner. Just push, pull, getting angles. Figure out how to manipulate a guy. All right, then we'll move into some more defense here. Well, all I'm gonna do right now, grab your partner, we're like three minutes on it. Push the angles, push the head, pull in. Head position, pull in, right here. All right, get to the other side, see where that feels. Push in, pull, push in, pull. All right, not standing up, staying on our toes, hand placement, all that kind of stuff, think about it. You guys got it? Again, this is nothing new. You guys all know how to be in your wrestling camp. You guys all know about head positions. You all know about hand placement. You can't spend enough time in. You gotta get really comfortable doing it. All right? All right, on three. One, two, three. What I don't want to do, I'll tell you what I don't want to do. What I don't want to do is I don't want to grab up at the top of the head. What's he gonna do? Drop all those shoot, right? I don't want to try and reach around this way. He'll just turn the corner on me, right? I see a lot of guys do that. And I, well, the last thing I don't want to do, which I see a lot of people do, is they just bam. I like think you haven't done the right. No. All right. This is this right here is a, is a hard fought, gritty position. All right. The best way to teach you to break this lock, guys. I'll tell you right now, is to push his head open. The head position, right? It opens up his neck. Not strong. Strong right here. Not strong. All right. Then attack. You push. can attack a hand based on his lock. He's got a good lock right now, but I'll, I'll either attack the wrist and pull it out, or if it's, if it's locked the other way, lock the other way. Some guys do. Right here. I know you can hurt. Grab the finger, outside of the fingers, right here, and in one quick motion, you're kicking down and peeling. Right here, as you leave, I've got biometrics, understand how his body moves, but against, against his, uh, his wrist. Boom. All right, you gotta get to your, uh, your leg all the way up right here. All right, it's a little bit different. Now it's, now it's a little more tricky. Now it's gonna be dull, probably you gotta be bouncing, waiting for your opening. All right, he'll probably be running into you. Don't be afraid, afraid to uh, ride the wave out and try to start your kick. I'm dropping, I'm moving with him. Right, find the opening, here it is. I'm trying to get loose. Prior here, kick down. Right, guys get hasty. You see it all the time. Guys, you don't you start panicking, kicking. 
Ride the wave out. Find that opening. All right. Right here, you're gonna get there. He gets right here. All right. That's where you. If he does get your leg, he's stuck right here. All right. All right. Open it up right here. Back to head wrist. The elbows are right too. You can peel it out. The problem is then you're you're trying to fight a five uh, second tricep. That's strong. Right. He's a decent, decent strong guy. Me doing this won't do much. Tacking down here the wrist where it's not strong, where there's no muscle, makes more sense. The hands even better. Right. Boom. Right. The other option you have, if you have trick knees, you could do a little like lift, lift me. I'm not good at it, but I've seen guys do it. Right. Um. But we're gonna spend time in this position right now. Guy gets a lot. I want you playing around with getting out of that defensively. Right. Options again. One more time. We don't want to do this. We don't want to do this. We don't want to fight. Go upper body open. Just kind of run through us. All right. We don't want to be on our heel. We're gonna get on our toe. Right on your heel. You can't move on your toe. Right here, head position, right here, move, right? If you have a wizard, great, right? Tight right here, tight your hands, boom, break it down, right? Right here, or right here. If he, if he does get it down low, if he gets down low, he's running into us, running into us, we're not conceding yet. Kind of see where we are, you guys are folks out, you go out on that, could be stalling, at least it's not a takedown, right? Yeah. Understand that, right here, right? We're wrestling, wrestling. I feel the opening, there it is. I'm gonna lay down, all right? You guys got it? Yeah. That's the other thing, you gotta spend time in this position to understand what to do. Get comfortable here. The best wrestlers, if they have the leg up in the air, they don't panic. They go, alright, alright, what are we gonna do? Oh, here it is. Good job. You can attack the hand, right? <laughs> His hand's guarded right now, it's kinda hard, and especially in full so you can't grab just a finger, it's illegal, right? You all know that. Grab the wrist, alright, whatever you can. I can grab the can now. I'm gonna peel it out, right here, and break it. Peel it out and break it. Your hand does not bend this way. That's why I'm doing that. It can bend this way, that way, but not this way. The whole shoulder bends. All right? All right, so this time, you get to your leg, right? You, you end up deep on the shot. All right, I do it right here. No, I didn't say that. Right? So, what are my options as far as defense if the guy gets in? Right here. All right, what are my options? Pump your head down. This is kind of interesting. Sprawl is one of them. What else? Yeah, wizard. Tack the elbow right here. We'll, we'll bring over here. Let's get some ideas here, guys. Let's think about this. What, what do you think? Wizard. Okay, what do you think? <coughs> Brawl shot head. That's probably the best answer so far. Yes, exactly. Guys, if the guy had is lower than yours, every single time a guy's head is lower than yours, again, I said it already, his head's got to go through the mat. It's a, a front headlock every day of the week, all right? His head is lower than mine. Great. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sprawl. I'm gonna take this free hand. I'm gonna stuff his head hard, and I'm gonna put my hips through the mat. Through the mat, all right. Did I sprawl with my hip down to the side? All right, some coach teach this. Did I do that? No. The reason why I don't do that is if I do that on him, right, he's just turn the corner, you get it. Does that make sense? All right, don't do that. Even when you guys are doing a dancing motion, none of this is bad at it. Down, hard, hips. Through the mat. All right, we're gonna break two easel bits. Two guys. He's uh, he's a world champ from Italy. He's a pretty good wrestler. Maybe got the heaviest hit. He beat Jordan Bros. Beat some good guys. He's got the heaviest hit from maybe the planet. All right. And one thing he does, the guy gets down on his legs. He is throwing his hips into like it's the last thing he's ever gonna do. I'm gonna be smothering hard. All right. On my toes. All my weight. He's being put right on his shoulder blades. He's extended. We've covered. We don't want any extended direction, right? This is a bad position for him. He's not strong right here. Tight, compact, strong. Not right here. All right. So step one, a guy gets in right there. All you do is you gotta throw the head. Smother one more time. He's in right here. I can't just fall. I'm just trying to fall. He's too strong. I've got to throw the head to get it down. Get it all the way down the mat. Right here. Right now, even then. I'm sprawled, he's not as strong as he was, but he still has a lot. Right, you're trying to go behind him right now, he might just hold on for his tailmate, right? So, the next step, guys, back to that tiny man his hands. On his kneecap, this is so important. Try to push on his hips, he'll still be strong. You push on the kneecaps, he's not. Right here, I'm gonna slow my hips back, right? As my hips are going back, I'm keeping the weight on him. Weight's on him, right here. All right, the entire time, I'm just shimmy it back and forth. So we do those hip warm ups, right? Again, really important, guys, your hips. All your power. You 
can't see his face right now, but I'm pretty sure I'm putting so much weight on it, he's going, right? It's tight, a lot of weight. The minute I, can, I put, get on my knees, he's gonna come back in a good position, right? So I've gotta be right here. And once you're right here, you don't wanna give up a scale weight, but you can take your time, really make it painful. Drag it down, a lot of weight on him. Now, go, go for my go behinds, right? You guys covered go behinds in camp already, right? You know go behinds? Yes? Yeah. No? Yes. Okay, well basic go behind, you guys who don't know. Basic go behind. You get him down right here. You want to block one arm so he can't he can't fall around. If I try and spin right now, turn this way. Sorry. If I try and spin this way, his arm will come out and I'll re-grab the leg, right? Don't be hasty. Be smart. All the way down, right? If you can push this one through, this back one's gonna fall back behind. Right? That warm up we did, we were spinning around on the guy. This is also you get used to be able to move on top of the person. Putting your weight in your chest and spinning like a bottle top. Alright? Right here. Ah, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Alright, a lot of weight. He's in bad position. Alright? Block, cover, all the way around with two points. Alright? Again, this is basic wrestling, but understand where your hands, your hips, everything comes into play. What kind of shoots? Alright, I can't just swirl, go get me. I don't want to go this way and turn the corner, right? I don't want to go this way and turn the corner. Smother him with your hips. Very good. Tight. A lot of weight, right? All that weight right here on top of his shoulders. Down, down. Push it, push it. Right here. Block. Go behind it. On my toes. You guys got it? Yes. You're trying, you're trying to stop. It's not working. All right, he's moving his feet, he's windshield wipering his feet. Y'all know this, right? It's good stuff. All right, good. Both of them, we're gonna do this Back on my toes, not my knees. On my toes. Same defense then. All right, one more time. You got a high crouch. Don't want to stand up. I don't want to have my hips so far in. I don't want my butt so far out that I can't move. I keep my hips strong right here. Try to get my stance. Trying to break down, stop walking, moving. Oh, there it is right here. Smother him. Right? I am torquing the heck out of his shoulder right now. You guys can't see it because, I mean, you can't see it on the side of his shoulder, but there's a lot of pressure right now on this shoulder. He's holding on to dear life, but I'm just pushing, pushing, pushing. Right? The minute I break the lock, lock, go behind. Alright? Alright. Partner, be a good partner. Don't just be locking like, I see the guys locking like this. This is not a good lock for a lady. That is a good for like a gut wrench and stuff, not for getting on a shot. Good locks, all right? Everyone show me the lock, what's their lock? Let's see, let's each other. First our lock, where's my lock? That's still interesting, do you think? Is, is this the strongest lock you can think of? Yeah, think about that. What's your lock? Okay, good. All right, so here's a fun little story here. My dad taught me, he had a weird lock. Like, like, up, and literally, we call the Pantone lock because we don't know what to do. We do it. Take our thumbs and do our pinky. Yeah. Thumb around this way, and then lock, lock on top. So it's like a combination of like this and a butterfly lock. But the tricky okay. thing about it is, in folk style wrestling, there's rules about grabbing fingers, right? Yeah. You grab like what is it? Three fingers. If you leave, you get to grab four fingers. Mm -hmm. I think it is. And you do this. You only have one set of four fingers for him to grab. So it kind of cuts down on the risk on your end. Or, Makes him more susceptible to getting called for um, a bad call, right? But again, the best locks I would, I would say is tight butterfly lock right here, and not like this, tight butterfly lock right here, or even on your fingers, right here. Yeah, your fingers are weak, but at least you can shift your lock now. All right, here it's kind of like the harder shift your lock. Think about these kind of things, guys. This is a, those layers of wrestling I'm talking about. Like, you gotta actually think about well, like, is my lock right, is my head right, are my, are my hips too extended, all that kind of stuff. All right, but do we have any questions on this, on this defense? No? All right, head outside, head inside defense. On three. One, two, three.